Sean Sewell in Gimmit.com in the mountains of Colorado. Some pretty harsh conditions testing out the brand new Marmot Precip Pro jacket. It's the Precip regular, then there's the Pro. In this video, I'll go over the features, fit, and functions, and what makes this one the Pro jacket. <laughs> it's about to get down. Let's get into it. First and foremost, we'll start with sizing as we always do. I'm six foot one, 210 pounds, 45 inch chest, 33 inch waist, 36, 37 on the arms. This is a men's extra large. Per usual, Marmot just fits well out of the box. It's not athletic, it's not boxy, it's just a good fit. I have it layered over um, an active insulation and t-shirt uh, to give you a frame reference of conditions you can use it in. And for that reference, uh, it's about 20 degrees and we're in the mountains about 10,800 feet uh, with some blowing winds and a lot of snow. As you can see, it is the uh, end of March and is this typically the snowiest part of the year for us here in Colorado. And yeah, here it is, a lot of snow. I've been testing this jacket for about the last three months or so. This is definitely aimed as a rain jacket or a hard shell for spring, summer, fall activities. But there's no reason why I can't use it in the winter. It's still waterproof, breathable. Speaking of that, this has their membrane uh, proprietary waterproof breathable technology, 20K, 20K. So that's going to be as good as any other house brand's uh, waterproofing membrane. I'm not trying to bring other companies into it, but you're probably thinking like, okay, is this as good as like the high vent from back in the day, North Face? Yeah. Is this as good as h 2 from Patagonia? Yeah. You know, I don't have a hydrostatic head to measure these things. I have a human body and elements to go test it in. So that's why I'm going with it's breathable, it's functional, it is waterproof. Somebody's going to hopefully ask, what is the difference between the Pro, this guy, and the regular? Well, let me answer it as quickly as possible. The regular one has a little bit lower quality waterproof B1 membrane. It's still a great value at $100. Come on. It's a $100 rain shell from Marmot. It's well made. This one is 50% more. It is $150, which is still a really fair price point, putting it at the torrent shell and other, you know, I don't say entry level because they're not entry level like Walmart crap. but. For these lineups, these good brands, Patagonia, North Face, Marmot, so forth, their entry level lineup right there at 100 to 150, that's a really spectacular price point. You get a lot of jacket for it. You get these unique pockets. At first, I mean, you might not be wondering, um, hey, those are kind of weird pockets, but they're purposely put right here. So they play nicely with your backpack straps and or casuals. You don't look totally out of place using this, but your backpack straps will usually hit right about here. And so you can definitely wear this jacket and access those pockets. Uh, you get double zipper access right there so you can figure out where you want to put those pockets. You do, of course, get pit zips to dump the heat as well should you need to. And I do find I use when I'm backpacking uh, or in this case using it for splitboarding, I have a backpack on and I dump those pit zips on the way up and it allows me to keep the protection from the elements, which is a perfect video for this because it was blowing up wind and snow every which way. And it's nice to add those pit zips just to dump enough heat out, but to keep the majority of my body protected from the elements. Um, the hood is nice and sizable. I'll show you that real quick. Semi stiffened brim. As you saw there, it plays very nicely with a hat or a beanie or what have you. Um, material is eco-friendly. The DWR is a PFC free, I believe. Hence the Eco Pro, ecologically as friendly as they can make right now. Um, the layout is really fantastic. There's a lot of colors available. I like this really kind of subdued color. It's really nice for casual use. And I did not intend to have matching pants today, but apparently I got matching pants right now. Uh, for $150, you're getting a whole lot of value. Uh, Marmot, their membrane, I've, I have jackets from like 10 years ago that had the membrane, waterproof, breathable uh, membrane, and it, it just works well. Like all waterproof, breathable membranes, uh, best to use them, uh, use them up as much as possible, and then wash them with a tech wash or Grangers or whatever your technical outerwear uh, company recommends. I find that by washing them and taking care of them, they will last years of use. How they stop working is when you don't clean them and the pores get clogged in the waterproof breathable membrane. The job of the membrane, in case you don't know, I'll give you a little 10 second lecture, is to one, the, D the DWR to keep the initial rain or snow deflected off of the jacket. And then the three layer technology, there's a membrane in here and the inner fabric, it, uh, its job is to 
keep the oils and sweat and vapors that we produce from clogging that membrane. But when you use stuff, you sweat, you're oily, we're stinky, we're dirt bags, we're outside having fun, it is best to wash the garment so those pores then become clean, they can do the job, keeping you dry from the inside out. Lecture over, thanks for humoring me listening to that. Back to this jacket. Uh, you get adjustable hem on the bottom right here, so of course you want to tighten it up, especially when the wind is gusting like it is currently. Uh, I'll show you one more time. The, the fit and function on this is really nicely laid out. Again, I'm 36, 37 on the wingspan, six foot one, um, and it's built for us active people. You know, you can see the stretch right there, a little mechanical stretch. So if you were a, a climber, you know, or if you're trekking with poles or whatever you're doing, it's nice to have that stretch. And then the length is really good on the arms too, as you can tell, it's a really good coverage. And of course you have hook and loop so you can adjust to fit over your gloves or under your gloves. For $150, it's a heck of a deal. And I love that they actually made the pockets uh, with backpackers and hikers in mind. So the straps will play nicely on uh, your kit. Good stuff. We'll put a link below if you want to purchase one. Got any questions? Hope you do. Put those in the comments below as well. Want to see more content from Marmot? We got a lot more coming up. We actually got one of our riders, Champs Terry, doing the Appalachian Trail. So he's got some Marmot stuff right there. So if you want to see that, consider subscribing to our Engagement channel. I'm Sean Sewell, owner and director of Stoke Fort Engagement. Till next time, take care.